Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I'm excited to let you see Mr. Hino's gear ratio robot. What's really cool is this robot's able to teach you and let you understand about gear ratio. So if you want to see this robot, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave you the instructions for this robot in the description. If you check there, there's the link, okay? So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how this robot works. You can see here where we're able to put different gears here. And these white tooth nails are going to spin and show you how gear ratio works. So let's take a look at the robot. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this robot. So this robot comes assembled with two large motors. If you can see here, this one large motor is just gonna spin freely. So when I program this to do one rotation, this will just do one rotation. But this um, large motor here, you can see how we're able to either gear up or gear down. So on this one here, we've actually geared up where we have the driver gear um, which is this large 36 tooth um, gear and it's going to be spinning this 12 tooth gear so if you know you do the math if this is 36 and this is 12 the gear ratio is going to be 3 to 1 so what's going to happen um, and you're going to need some type of um, device that can slow the video down because in real time this is really hard to see so I'm going to slow this down for you uh, in a second, but I just want to show you real quick how this is going to work. So if the ratio is 3 to, or if this is 36 to 12, the gear ratio is 3 to 1. So when this um, tooth spins one time, this should spin three times. So let me go ahead and show it to you in real time, and then I'll slow it down for you. So let's watch it. So... I mean, it's not going to perfectly end up in the same spot every time. I mean, it should end up at 12 o'clock. But let me go ahead and um, slow this down for you and show you that this did spin three times for this one time. Okay, so I've swapped out the 36 tooth gear and the 12 tooth gear. I've swapped it out now for the 40 tooth gear and the 8 tooth gear. So let's go ahead and do some math. This is 40 and this is going to be 8. So the ratio is going to be 40 to 8 or, you know, if we reduce that, that would be 5 to 1. So now in this case here, instead of rotating three times for every one of, you know, every one rotation of this, it now should rotate five times for every one of this rotation. So again, I have it, I have it um, programmed for just one rotation. I'll show it to you in real time and then I'll slow it down for you. So here we go. And it's not going to be perfect every time, but when I show you the slow motion, you'll see that it rotated five times. Okay, so... I found one more combination. These are 24 tooth gears, so they're both exactly the same. So I think by now you guys are probably already figuring this out. So if this is 24 and 24, we now have a one to one ratio, which now should get this gear spinning exactly one rotation, just like the other. So this one should be identical. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So there you go. And again, the reason why is because since these gears are both the same, um, they're going to rotate at the same speed, which should be, you know, end up being one rotation just like this one did. Okay, let me tell you what I did. I basically just swapped the gears. So I geared down. 
I have the eight tooth gear coming out of the large motor that's going to now power up the 40 tooth gear. So if you guys are understanding gears, how many times um, do you think this will rotate by the time this one gets all the way back up to the top again? If you guessed five, you're getting this. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five. So, you know, you can um, figure this out either way, either by gearing up or gearing down like this to understand ratios. So what I want to do now is do the same thing with these guys. So if this is 36 and this is 12, and the 12 is going to power up the 36 tooth gear, how many times will this rotate? Hmm. Let's swap the gears and let's find out. Okay, so I've swapped the gears. Again, this is 12 and this is 36. So how many times will this rotate by the time this can go all the way around and back up to the top again? If you guys guess three, you guys are really getting this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. One, two, three. So we're getting um, this gear ratio thing, I think. Okay, guys. So again, Mr. Hino's gear ratio robot. I mean, this is not actually mine, um, but this really never had a name for it. I just found the instructions for this and it really didn't say what this was for until I kind of messed around with it. And I was like, oh, that's what these, it has you putting these two um, white nails on it. So I was like, oh, they're probably getting you to understand you know, gear ratio and having them spin almost like a clock, but obviously one's going to spin faster than the other when you gear it down or gear it up like that. So a really cool robot to, you know, for students to be able to understand gear ratio and how it works. So I would definitely, um, you know, do this in class. It's a super easy build. And again, one more time, the instructions are in the description if in case you want to build this. So Hopefully, you know, you liked it and it's just allowing you to understand about gears and making your robot go faster or just giving it more torque or force. OK. All right, guys. Hopefully you liked it. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.